But he had already been thinking it over. This old man, he thought, is going mad. From this moment, he realized that he was indispensable to his master. He did not intend to derive any advantage from this, but the idea pleased him. This clerk might well have been a highly dangerous person, except that ambition, desire in any form, had been washed and bleached and burnt out of him. He had no yearning for love in him, no fear, and no wish to fight. He was like some kind of insect, hard to crush, even to the heel of a boot. And yet there were things not yet to be recounted, which moved like big deep water fish in the depths of his dark mind. He had only one passion, a craving to be left alone. His soul was concentrated upon this one request that he might enter his little room and shut his door with the security that here no one in the world could possibly follow him.